Welcome to the LPS Consulting web series for SAP Business One. In today's session, we're going to take a look at the SAP Query Wizard. The Query Wizard is a reporting tool that users create their own reports with. These reports can then be shared, exported, they're dynamic reports, so they follow all the normal rules that an SAP screen report will follow. Let's take a look at a very simple example that we'll create with the item master data information in SAP. This is a report that an inventory user or a warehouse manager might create. We'll create a report just to give us a list of the quantities we have in stock for our items. To create our report, we go to the Tools menu, Queries, Query Wizard. We get a dialog that takes us step by step through the all setting up the parameters for our report. By selecting and searching for our items table, we can pull up items, see any tables related to items. We can pull up the fields within our items table, and we'll do a search. We'll do this report to show us the item number, the item description, and then the quantity of the item. Just by typing in a search field, the system helps us find the field we need from the table. We can then set a sort order and we're going to set this report to sort our items by their stock value in a descending sequence. So we see the largest quantities in stock at the top of our report. We can then filter our report and we'll create a very simple filter that will let us filter out everything that is less than a quantity of 20. So if our on hand value is greater than 20, we want it in our report. The query wizard finishes, creates our syntax for the report query for us, and produces a report in Business One in the same format that all of the other Business One reports follow. Our in stock value, as we set up in our condition goes from highest quantity down to lowest. We can see that there's nothing with a quantity of below 20. Because it's an SAP report, we can sort by columns selectively, and SAP knows what to do with its own data. So fields like the item number field are drillable, and we can come back and see the detail by drilling into our own query report. And SAP set all of this up for us, really. If we save this report, it is now available to other users. We can make it shareable to them. They can run the report and produce any kind of export, PDF, Excel, and so forth, that SAP supports. Thank you for watching this brief demonstration of the SAP Query Wizard. It's a very powerful, useful tool that allows users the ability to go in and create their own reports within Business One, share them, export them, utilize them for other functions in Business One. Thank you for watching. Look for more in our series from the LPS Consulting Web Series on SAP Business One.